Morning everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. Happy Monday, I hope you had a great crafty weekend. If you didn't see uh, the channel over the weekend, we published two new videos for you. I have the cards here so I can give you a little bit of a teaser. There's this one here about how to create these 3D vellum dragonflies with these copper accents. We did some copper embossing powder on vellum, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. And my favorite vellum tape, because if I put this right close up, you cannot see anything through there. I know the sentiment's back to front because of the way the camera does it, but you can see that um, you can't see any of that adhesive. I also showed you how to create that very kind of droplety background, just using a bleeding technique with metallic watercolors. So do check that one out, that was published yesterday. And on Saturday, we had the final part of the Zen Ocean Three Weeks, Three Ways. So this was another way to use the Zen Ocean, and I did it in a monochromatic, so I chose blues, you could choose red, you could choose greens, whatever that person's favorite colors are, you could implement this into the Make Waves. So that is on there as well, and you can see all of those lovely 3D accents. And do check out the blog for some amazing pictures, plus, of course, our two-week uh, winner that we had for those Kiriana Wink pens, that's on the Hedgehog Hollow blog, hedgehoghollow.co.uk as well. Now this morning I wanted to hop in and talk to you about my rinse well. The rinse well is my favourite watercolour tool, it's fairly inexpensive, I bought it on Amazon, I thought, oh well, it's maybe a bit of a gizmo, but it's absolutely amazing, and lots of you have loved it too. We did a Facebook Live a little while back about what it does and why I love it so much, but... Uh, the thing with Facebook Lives is they're not easy to find afterwards. So I'm trying to work through some of the favorite ones to re-immortalize them here on YouTube. And then whenever I do watercoloring, I can just link up this video where I use the rinse well and you can see exactly how it works. So morning everyone. Uh, I can see your comments coming up and I'm trying to get through it um, because some of you commented that it's a little bit off-putting when I keep stopping to say good morning. So I'm going to turn over to my desk, I'm going to show you how this tool works, and of course I will link it below the video. If you are watching on a um, tablet or a mobile device, you'll need to click the little downward arrow in the bottom right hand corner to see the links, and if you're watching on a PC or a desktop or a laptop, just click that show more which will be under the video title just below the video. So click that as well and you'll again see all of the links. I'm also going to have a few things pop up during the video which will include uh, the two cards I've just shown you, so they'll pop up on your screen, and a few other uh, tutorials that you may find useful along with the rinse well. So let's go over here and have a look. Hi Joanna, I'm just turning this, you can see my new storage that I've just started and I'm going to take you through it in the week but this here is the rinse well so the rinse well consists of this water chamber here you've got a dirty water chamber underneath which we'll get to in a minute and you have some slots for your brushes so when I'm water coloring I have two pots of water I have my rinse well which I use for my dirty brushes and then I have a Faber Castell collapsible pot that I use for my only clean water now the great thing about this is, first of all, it does have some brush slots, so if you're working with a couple of different brushes, you can stick those in there. This currently is clean water, so I can just put my brush in there, I can pick up some clean water and off I go. However, I just grabbed some brush show, which is uh, some water soluble paint, and I'm going to put some colour in here as though I've just cleaned off a dirty brush. So I've got my brush, I've cleaned it off, and now my water is all blue. So hopefully you can see there that there's some blue water in there. Well, all I do is I press this button here, the water drains out, you can give it a little bit brush around. Sometimes if you've got mica paints and things, some of that will um, stay there, so just give it a little brush off. And then this is automatically refilling out of this chamber. You may be able to hear it go glug, 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 and it's filled it up with clean water. Now that water goes into the chamber underneath. I'm not gonna lift it up here because I'll probably end up with water everywhere. But then you can just empty this chamber out once this is empty. You can actually fit two of these chambers into this bottom chamber. You can also get spare chop chambers. So if you don't have a bathroom nearby or a water source when you're water coloring or you wanna do it on the move, uh, it works really well. If you um, maybe are water coloring outside and you take some bottled water with you, well this again is another great tool to use and it's absolutely my favorite. So I can wash my brushes out, I can stand it up and then again, I can let it out and it's going to all refill. And I don't have to keep emptying it out every time that my water gets slightly dirty. If maybe I'm working with black and then I want to work with pink and I don't want to cross contaminate them, I can just let this out and then start again with some clean water. 
So absolutely my favorite tool. You'll see me use it all the time. And I will always link back to this video so that you can see a full demonstration of it as well. Lots and lots of water will fit in here. I think you can get at least 10 empties and clears and you can just let a little bit out. So if you just need to let a bit out, because a bit's dirty in the bottom. And as I say, if you've got mica powders and things, sometimes I just take my paintbrush and just clean it off, but it works super, super well. Of course, I will link it below for you. I got um, one from one of the best sources and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thank you for joining me on this very warm Monday morning. I hope you have a great day and a great week and I will see you again tomorrow for some more stamping tips. Happy stamping, see you then. Bye.